Um, another update on humanity that he is describing powerfully is um, the degree of connection and unity that we are realizing from a unique upgrade of consciousness. Some are calling it grace. So in this unique upgrade of consciousness, the technology, he believes grace is an actual technology. So he says the technology of grace is remembered in simple but powerful and clear ways. This means that the newest modality for, for healing, the newest modality for spiritual awakening, the newest and more modern advances and updates are non-modalities. They're, they are awakenings. They are deep but simple realizations, sort of a feeling. He said, when it begins, you'll feel as if you're walking around in nostalgia. It's the best way that we can describe this. You're walking around in a nostalgia. Um, if you're scared, you become fearful of the feeling. If you're open, you become curious of the feeling. If you're already there with me, many people here today get super excited about grace. You're like, that's happening finally. I knew that that, whatever that is, I knew it was coming, it's palpable, but we can't um, mm, logic this, he says. We can't um, wrap our heads around it. It isn't to be understood, but it's palpable. And this is the technology of grace. So in our newest update of the Human Conscious Collective, there will be more frequent, normalized downloads and upgrades of downloads that are as natural as thought. But when you're tuned out because you're looking for something other than thought, <laughs> when you're tuned out because you're looking for, you know, what's this word he's using the gimmicks he said you know the gimmicks of spirituality when, when you're looking for in mediumship we call this physical evidencing we're looking for evidence of a being coming through it's one of the main reasons why i stopped um mediumship with deceased people because there were moments when that would come through and moments that the pressure of that was so strong that that could cut me off that was like so you're pressuring me to show you a separation <laughs> it's not in my nature, right? Um, so how are you pressuring yourselves right now to evidence how separated you are still? He said that one of the things in taking away the barricade to these upgrades of consciousness is when you stop the pressure that you're putting on yourselves in everything, the pressure to have a career that gives you this amount of money monthly so that you can save it away and put it in an IRA or whatever it is you're doing, he says. There's still an association of wanting change, but associating change with insecurity, fear, and not being safe. So he says, when you get to that place, you understand there's a deep transformative energy waiting to be remembered. It's there. You've already birthed it, but you're holding the baby in your hands and not feeding it. It's crying for you. But you're going, ah, oh, that's not safe. I'm not sure I'm ready to be a mom. That's not safe. I'm not sure I'm meant to do this. That, that's not safe. That won't pay the mortgage, you know? Um, so he said, instead of just throwing that at you and shaming you over, I'm going to say there are steps in these upgrades of consciousness. There are conscious awareness steps. It only requires a little bit of willingness to perceive it and receive it, these downloads. Just a little bit of willingness that happens to be something that you carry through your entire awareness. So this means it's, it's consistent. If you want spirit to become more reliable, you need to be consistently willing to listen. These downloads are subtle, 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 subtle stuff, he says. Do you understand, guys? Okay, looks like we have questions now, so I'll stop. 